The fake news media now making it abundantly clear which side they support. And it's not the innocent Jewish people in Israel massacred or even the Americans that were killed there. Former is Israeli Prime Minister Naftali Bennett joined Sky News and clashed with a so-called news anchor who kept asking about humanitarian concerns for Palestinians. Really, take a look. Are you seriously keep on asking me about Palestinian civilians? What's, what's wrong with you? Have you not seen what happened? We're fighting Nazis. I'm not going to feed electricity or water to my enemies. If anyone else wants, that's fine. We're not responsible this is, for them. This is the point. But you this keep is on, the point. You, no, no, I, I want to tell the point. you, no, no listen, listen, you listen no, to me right now. Voice, and I've heard trying, you enough. No, no, I understand. I, we're trying to have a conversation a here. Listen, this no, is my you're, program. You're, you're this is my show. Guy. Joining us now is former media director at the Israeli Consulate of New York, Jake Novak. Also with us, former executive director of Iranian Americans for Liberty, Brian Lieb. Jake, let's start with you. Your reaction to that interview right there. Well, I'm not surprised. I mean, obviously, we're seeing a little bit of that, a little less of that in the American news media right now. But sure, of course, in the British news media, like that clip you just saw, and in Europe, the bias against Israel and against Jewish concerns is, is massive. And it comes from a lot of places. Of course, it comes from the centuries of anti-Semitism in Europe, but it also comes from a place where a lot of Europeans are obsessed with this idea of labeling Israel as an aggressor. Because if Israel is an aggressor, maybe Europe can excuse itself for being silent and complicit in the Holocaust. That's where this all comes from. Now, this individual interviewer that you showed and that segment, I think, is also indicative of another problem, which is that Qatar, which is Iran's PR arm, has tremendous influence on Western news media, so much so that they provide talking points to a lot of on-air people, including people here in the United States, and they even pay some of them off. I think there's some evidence of that that's about to come out. So there's a lot of different problems here that we saw in that one clip, sadly. And the media plays such an important role in, in, in conflicts to know exactly what is the truth. So, Brian, what, do you, what goes through your mind when you hear protesters for Palestinians, for Hamas, saying that, oh, it's just all propaganda, that no babies were beheaded, and that Israel is the one committing genocide? These protesters that you speak of, uh, Lydia, know exactly what Hamas has been doing. Uh, they have a deep hatred for the Jewish people and for the existence of the Jewish state, the state of Israel. And what we saw uh, with Naftali Bonnet getting shut down like that is just a, another day uh, in the life of uh, an Israeli politician trying to to speak the truth about what's happening. Uh, I know I was in I was in Hungary a couple days earlier this week watching BBC, uh, and they had someone on the air, Lydia, that was openly. Uh, saying, you know, maybe the Jews will finally pay attention this time. Uh, it's truly horrific. And, and, and I guess final point to make, you know, when, when we're talking about the media, is just a couple hours ago, and Jake just touched on this, uh, you had the leader of Hamas having his face kissed by the Islamic Republic of Iran's foreign minister in Qatar. Uh, that just happened a couple hours ago. So make no mistake, the Islamic Republic of Iran is Hamas. Hamas is the Islamic Republic of Iran. Uh, and we need to hold not just those two, uh, Hamas and, and Iran, accountable. We've got to hold the Qataris accountable. What are they doing? They're supposed to be an ally of ours. And they're letting these monsters kiss each other and celebrate as thousands of Jews are dead in Israel. Americans are dead in Israel. This administration's got to take a hard stance on this. Jake, uh, 30 seconds to you. What do you make of, of Biden's leadership during this time? Well, he, he has said some very good things. And, you know, it's so important for people to understand that the president saying something important and the news media being much more fair or at least calling murder murder will help everyone involved, not just Israel and its goals, but the Muslim people as well. And most importantly, we will not have to have a wider war or Americans or anyone else get involved in this war if the news media and our politicians like President Biden continue to support the state of Israel. Would we rather go to war or would we rather show support for people who are under the gun lights? Absolutely. We've run out of time.